Yeah. Oh. What the hell, beer? How's it? Welcome to Marcus Max Y, the channel. And we got a lot of different things, you know. Shakespeare, forget to editing it. Spook 101. Awaiting orders, Commander. If I ever get that again. <laughs> Gag your edges. And uh, newspaper, which I'm doing consistently for a reason. <laughs> I'll reveal that later. But you know, I was watching, I was picking up materials, watching some other uh, the atheist arguments about uh, the Holy Bible not being a re reliable document. So therefore, they're saying, you basically could say it was fiction. And these things that, I mean, it's Easter. It says April 3rd, April 3rd. And it's Holy Saturday in the Easter calendar. So what about all this? You know, it's empty tomb, that's it. And it doesn't prove anything. And then these whole documents, right? They're all written anonymously. The names were put on them to the second century, so they're trying to promote it by putting names on it. Hey, it's legit. Mark wrote it. Luke wrote it. Hey. They're written so many years afterwards and all. So what's the scoop? And I'm looking at this stuff and I'm like, okay, well, I don't know. I thought I'd do a little exploration because it's Easter. And the last thing I want to do is reduce my Easter <laughs> meaningful <laughs> to, to eating chocolate and looking at someone else's babies. So I decided to, <laughs> to think about it a little bit, explore. And what is what I came up with? I'm going to try to be so quick. This, this might take so long that I'm going to have to do an actual separate part on this because Jesus gets crucified right wait <laughs> Jesus gets crucified we have a crucifix here Jesus gets crucified and this would be Good Friday in the calendar now they take him down off the cross special consideration atheists are saying hey man the common thing is they just tossed him in the big garbage grave big common grave and that's how his body got lost and this story. Empty tomb. He wasn't raised. He was just <clears throat> in the pit with all the other things and they couldn't find it. Hmm. Clever. One time I had to refute that. But he was a very prominent person, right? If you were to believe anonymous writers who don't exist. A very prominent person. There's sayings. There's even Josephus, an uh, actual historian outside the Bible, note that this guy existed. So most historians know this. Jesus existed. He was some kind of miracle worker kind of guy. Did strange stuff and people followed him. And then he was killed, right? They kind of have to accept that historically. That's the key, historically. And from there, you know, almost good luck. Right? But so he existed and he was pretty prominent because he has these sayings. So it's logical to think that it was special consideration when someone come ask the governor, Pontius Pilate, hey, you know what? Can we take down the body? Yeah, rah, 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 rah. as long as it doesn't rah, stir up the crowd, rah, rah, rah. that's it. That's all they're about. Don't stir up the crowd. <laughs> really? And uh, so put in the tomb yes it's a, I think it's a more likely story than an unlikely story but how do you really nail it when it comes to Jesus resurrection because if Jesus totally dead here comes God you shall be alive again he's resurrected in the resurrected form too there's a certain thing there about that you're not just I'm back from the dead I'm a zombie and then you die later, like Lazarus, right? All well, that story that was written by it anonymously. <laughs> God. So, uh, what about 
after the resurrection, the appearances of Jesus. He's back with holes and holy, and he is visiting people. Because he just visits people like here, appearance, 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 and then poof, back in heaven. That's the story. So let's look at one of them. Just to start this off, I don't know how long we're out. I don't want to spend. I'll make a whole other section of, and because it's there's, there's a, I look in here and there's obviously more stuff than I can put in a few minutes. The Holy Bible in a couple of minutes, okay? But check this out. The resurrection of the oh wait, wrong one. This is the Daniel one. That's what I'm talking about. That's uh, everyone's dead. <laughs> okay. No, I mean like the end of time. Oh, this one's kind of interesting. Okay, these little markers to find them. This one's a Luke one because Luke has stuff in it. You know. <sighs> okay. So it goes a little like this. Okay, he's dead. They're like, oh, he's dead. Oh, what a crushing blow. And then they're walking along to uh, Emma, 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 Emmaus. Sorry. They're, they're walking along to Emmaus. They're like, oh, what you talking about? This guy joins them walking. <coughs> I'm paraphrasing, obviously. What are you talking about? Oh, haven't you heard the stuff that went on? What stuff? And then they tell him all this stuff. Then all of a sudden he's like saying, How foolish are you? How slow of heart to believe all that you prophets have declared. You don't believe the prophets. What was not it was it not necessary that the Messiah would suffer for these things and then enter into his glory? So this whole thing was definitely had purpose and a mission and and the disciples themselves didn't get it. They're like, oh, okay. So they go in to the thing, uh, they sit down, come on inside. See, the thing is, he's right there, right next to them, and they don't recognize him. He's in his glorified resurrection body, so he just looks like a total stranger. I don't know. He also walks through walls, apparently. <laughs> Locked doors. <laughs> this is not a normal flesh and blood body. So they were in the table, they took and they broke it and they gave it to him, and they're so. They, they invite him in for like a little bit, you know, like, hey, come on in. And they you know, break bread. It's like the thing now. So they, and he breaks it and blesses it. And it, then that action, they recognize him. <gasps> and I just lost my page. Maybe that's a sign. Show me a sign. Uh, but what's interesting is, geez, I don't want to. Great, Zeus. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, he heals on the Sabbath. I'm lost. Lost in the Bible now. See, now you know why I wanted to make this a different thing. And that's the Daniel one. Great. I didn't have. So, anyways, it's at the end of these things, obviously. Uh, was it the Matthew one? No. I think so. Uh, well, I have to be a little bit more prepared. So, I'm not so interested in, like, quoting, per se, exactly what Jesus said, or the, getting the facts, get, like, so get the facts right. Written anonymously, did the resurrection actually happen? Well, one obvious thing is these appearances. He's walking around shows up what time he shows up right he's at the shore now obviously he's in uh earshot of the guys let's say the guys the boys the boys are in the boat right fishing because they're fishermen they're in the boat and they go and they, they see somebody on the shore and they don't recognize them no okay a distance far away you might not recognize somebody that's logical but he's in earshot too because it's hey have you caught anything and they're like, no, we haven't, not all day. And he says, well, cast your bets on the right side of the boat. There's fish there. 
and they do and they catch a huge haul and they almost fall over in the water it's so big right and they weren't that far they say a hundred yards and they come on shore and they start cooking the fish because the guy says hey oh well, they recognize him this is the point they do recognize him it wasn't like oh, surprise they recognize Jesus and he goes well let's cook some fish let's have breakfast fish so they cook it on a campfire and he eats some fish that's not a ghost that's a flesh and blood thing but it's not a flesh and blood thing it's the resurrected body thing so it gets a little confusing we'll touch more on that later <laughs> i guess because i spent up all my time uh, because this is obviously newspaper Yeah, this is where we this is where we look at the newspaper and see what's in the news. So I'll just make this a quickie. I'll try to be quickie. Quickie quickie. Quickie quickie in the ditchy. Okay, here's today's headline. Because it's online paper. I hope that's running. That better be running. I think it's running. Yes, it's running. Ah, so many moving parts. But I should have project. The real headline, this is the headline of today's paper. Thank you. Uh, thumbnails. Okay, what do we got? I'm gonna tell you what we got. It says travel restrictions might loosen. <laughs> Lucy. Lucy in the sky. Get loose with the goose. <laughs> this is just, just, what was that? <laughs> I gave the witch a devil dog to disrupt you. But you, you talk too much. Shut up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, loose. Uh, so the CDC, that's the actual science people, right? So it's it's okay to listen to them. If it was, if it was other than the CDC, I'd just be going, hey, no, stop, don't, don't, stop, stop, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. So the travel restrictions. This is what everybody wanted, right? And this is what Mongoose Max's newspaper here was based on the get the va get a test and you can come and uh, go forward and do the 14 day at the time uh, quarantine. But now, if you have if you're fully vaccinated, they're thinking, well, it doesn't make sense to quarantine you. But there's debate. You see, ladies and gentlemen. Just because you're vaccinated doesn't mean you don't carry the virus with you. You can be like vaccinated against it and still <laughs> be spreading it. They think that's actual possibility, but hey, they're trying to get as many people vaccinated as possible before the variants produce zombie apocalypse. Which was another thing I was going to bring up with the anonymous writers. That's right. You know when Jesus died on the cross yesterday on the Good Friday? Well, according to the calendar, right? Yeah, actually, it's a one-time event, by the way. It only happened once in history. Boom. That's it. And they'll, they'll emphasize it. It doesn't happen every year. One event. But when he died on the cross and the night went from noon to black and there was an earthquake, and then I think that's in uh, Matthew, right? <laughs> Matthew, or what are those? Lukey, Matthew, whatever. The one with a lot of details. Earthquake, three hours of darkness, midday. And also, the graves opened up. And the holy ones, which were like uh, the Jewish people that were buried in the graves, 
came out of the graves and walked around. Not only walked around, they walked into Jerusalem, the city. So a whole bunch of people zombie apocalypse and walked into the Jerusalem city. Hey, we're out of our graves! Damn it! It's stuffy in there! <laughs> I don't... So, is that out of the grave? Body? Is that resurrected? Thing? I, I'm not sure what... But, it might have been just an emphasis point, like... It was a big thing, and everyone was rocked to the core. And that's how they said it. Because there's no really zombie apocalypse. Or is there? See, because in this one, in Daniel, where it talks about the very end of times, he's like, well, how will I even know how these end of times works? And it says, there'll be a resurrection of the dead. That's right. Zombies. Well, not really zombies. But it says, many of those who sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake. Some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. Those who are wise shall shine like the brightness of the sky, and those who lead many to righteousness like the stars, many forever and ever. Wow, okay. Ooh, because that's talking about the end times. So maybe that's the very end and everyone pops up out of the grave resurrection time because that's part of actual Jewish belief so Jesus already knew about that it was part of Jewish belief oh brother okay so travel restrictions do we have a zombie apocalypse I don't know okay do the tears are the tears gonna change I don't know it's 2.0 they're probably gonna leave it as most as they can and if we look into the paper and try not to be too long, we have back in the day. <laughs> put the Bible away now. Why don't you just put the Bible away? Be nice. Stop doing it. <laughs> now, if you believe, you believe. If you don't, that's okay. But uh, this is this is what it says in the book, and it's how atheists look at it, and it's like, oh my god, you know? They can undermine the whole thing just by a, a college degree. <laughs> Back in the day, oh my god, hula hoops. In 1958, hula hoops? What the hell? I got this upside down. What am I doing? I'm not sure that sounded good. All right. So, hula hoops have been around a long time. Okay, there was a big thing in the Capitol, not to make a big deal about it. Guy, boom, with his car, and they killed him, but one of the officers died. And no disrespect for the office or anything, but they should downplay this. <laughs> so they don't get... Because this is obviously like copycat or kind of like an echo. It's kind of an aftershock of the... Uh, thank you, Donald Duck. <laughs> Many of the back... Uh, okay. Majority of the back, he's like, he's... Most people like voting easy. Are you kidding? Mail-in ballot? They're insane. Of course. The only reason to not do that is to, yeah, exclude people. Oh, the border's getting all freaking, freaking, uh... So someone on the, love the Lloyd case, right? Um, this is the big one up there. It's just like the new OJ trial. But it's just totally different. It's about the police brutality bit. And, um, and also racial discrimination inside the system. And, uh, so... The lieutenant comes up and says, hey, you know what, that was totally unnecessary. So now a police lieutenant legitimately says it. Now they're like, okay, we can, the, it's called the credul, credulous, um, the credula, you know, the witness has credit. You know, if I went up and said it, hey man, that's not necessary, it wouldn't have credit. But a police lieutenant says it, then has credit. And they looked at that. It's either facts or the credit of the witness, right? Oh, oh, the giraffe died. The online stock giraffe. They put him down. Euthanasia had arthritis of the neck. My neck hurts. We're going to put you under. We're going to put you to sleep. 
Wait for, wait for the zombie apocalypse and you too can come back. I saw a horse put to sleep. It was like a totally huge, thick, beefy, healthy horse, but it had this wound and had a gash in its leg. And this is Montana. And the vet and everything, we took it out into the back and I was like there. I was like face to face with this huge, strong horse. And the guy came in with a big syringe, just about as big as my arm. And he just was patted it on the head saying, sorry girl, Boom. injected it. And then within like 10 seconds, the horse was dead. It was like the eyes rolled up like this and it fell on the ground, like knocked out. And it was dead, 10, like, like, whatever's in that syringe, get the hell away from me. <laughs> Euthanasia was sad. You know, but hey, they, oh, this guy gay is talking about sad. This guy's a cuckoo. I don't think he's gonna get anywhere. He's not getting any support. You know, those people that lie to to get you off. <laughs> get me, get me off the hook. Lie for me. <laughs> They're like, eh, we're keeping our distance. So I think he's going to go down hard. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's the political cartoon. Oh, yeah. Oh, you got a baseball back on the team challenge. You know what he should be batting at? The variants. They should have an extra ball variants. The three extra, three baseballs coming at him. And we'll get to, see if we can get to, uh, uh, letters to the editor. God, it's okay. You know, luckily, luckily today's, uh, uh, nesting turtles. Oh, here we go. Oh, my God. We're back at war. One more tour again. Now, this is the 442nd Brigade. These are the all Japanese soldiers. Do you ever wonder why they had to, they put all the Japanese soldiers together? Crunch it is. But they went, hey, go for broke. They're from Hawaii. Hey, go for broke. And well, anyways, Daniel Inoi. In Inoi. Oh, I, I like to mess with his name. Uh, the great, the great hero. Oh, let's just do Big Q real quick. Big Q. Big Q says, do you plan to attend Easter gathering this weekend? <gasps> oh. <laughs> so 19% yes, in-person gathering activity. 7% yes, but only remotely online. <laughs> Don't touch me. 74% no, no group activity this year. Screw your Easter egg hunt. I didn't, I had bad memories of it last time. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, okay, um, <clears throat> uh, the water on Mars was, they figured out it went sunk, sucking the planet, the red dirt. So the water on Mars that you, water on Mars that used to be is sucked into all the rocks inside the planet. That's where the water is. Like one red dirt sponge. And Total Recall, the movie, is true. <laughs> the Bible is becoming untrue and our science fiction movies are becoming true. Yay! <laughs> what fun! Uh, okay, so we got jobs are hopping. Tesla's are crushing it at the market. Oh man, this is kind of weird. And oh, they must have got the news, huh? With all the talk about Jono Kahio because they're brushing off the statue. Brush, brush off the statue real quickly. <laughs> they find out. We find out we left made bird poo poo. We left the bird poop on the sausage statue. The bird poop on the statue. Clean them off quickly. And uh, of course, uh, uh, yay! Warriors, wake up! Wake up! I don't know. Wake up! They they lost one little thingy, and then they got lucky. <laughs> then, there's this, then there's this one, just for the hell of it. And uh, da, 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 and what people do because Saturday has this thing. Oh, look pretty. And this guy traffic up. One of them guys. So give me about that and Marcy Get away from my table, I'm not gonna tip you. This guy did it forever. I thought the whole pandemic. Burning room boom. You can color your eggs with uh natural natural dye. <laughs> you can get take it to the toilet and give you some natural dye. I ate black black <laughs> black 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 I ate black uh, jelly beans. And on St. Patrick's Day, I pooped green. That scared me. I was like, oh my god, it's the leprechauns are up my butt. My leprechauns can fly out of my butt. They did. They pooped green. What the hell's going on? The world, it's crazy. All right. All right. 
All right, this silliness, this stuff, this silliness. Let's go to letters to the editor. Yeah, because I'm freaking done with overtime. And I got another one <laughs> to the Bible part two to that. I just started it off with, sorry about that. If, if you're not into it, hey, tough. <laughs> it's been around 2000 years, 5,000 years. How long have you been around? Hmm? I didn't mean it that way. I'm sorry. My bad. <laughs> I'm just saying, they're disproving God and they're getting actually very convincing, which is blowing my mind. <sighs> okay, let us later. Don't be divided by Asian hate media type. Hmm. The media is blowing up, quote, stop Asian American hate issue. It's an issue. Saying anti American hate crime rates are soaring. But check out the data from fact sheets. Anti-Asian anti -Asian Prejudice March 2020 by the Center for Study of Hate and Extremism. It shows an increase of nearly 150% in the latest in the in the 16 largest cities in the US. Well, that sounds like a lot. That is italicized. However, the numbers show this soaring increase consists of 49 crimes in 2019, increasing to 122 crimes in 2020. In a city as big as New York, the numbers were three crimes in 2019 and 28 crimes in 2020. So why all the media hype about the soaring hate of Asians? The media wants to divide us by race and identity groups and pit us against each other. Don't buy into that game, Kathy Fukunaga Kailua. Fuku, huh? Fuku you. How about this? Uh, thank you, Kathy. I don't want to demean you or nothing like that, but your opinion is basically the media is influencing people. That's like fake news. Don't listen to the media. Fake news is messing with your life and toying with you. It's not fake news. It's how people think. And I'll tell you what, one crime is too many. Did you ever see the video of these guys? It's like these thugs come up and push like this 90 year old guy, falls down, hit his head on the pavement, and he wouldn't die. Maki Kain died dead. What if that was you? Or what if that was your grandpa? Oh, don't listen to the media. It's a problem. It's one of many. And it stems from the angst from the pandemic and endemic ingrained racism in the system, in our hearts and in our minds, in our society. I give it a much. And I don't have a solution for you. So tough. Ooh, ooh. A few Felix Unger. Injustice won't make our society stronger. No, it won't. James Kataoka provided a bizarre response regarding history's use of racial discrimination and violence as a barometer towards future success. Ever running long. Eh, hardships make us stronger. No, they don't. Thank you, Nietzsche. Nietzsche thinking. If it doesn't kill us, it makes us stronger. Ryan Tinloy, Nuuanu, boo on you too. And then he quotes Martin Luther King. So, oh, I can't touch it, right? Last one, no law should prevent, no law can prevent Pearl Harbor shootings uh, because it's military based, not a civilian law. And, oh, you guys trying to make the Brady Act. Remember the guy he got shot in the head because he was around Ronald Reagan when they attempted to kill him? <laughs> That's a whole other story. And then made a Brady law. And then the gun control. And then they, it's, he's calling it the Brady Bunch. It's just an excuse for the Brady Bunch. So fool on you, Tom, James Prickett. None of you get the T-Rex tour. You're, you're just, the content is just not to my liking. That's all I gotta say about it. Mongoose Max has views too. Anyways, so that's it. Oh, really? So, have a great Holy Thursday. Look out, I'm gonna make the harrowing of hell, I think. Harrowing of hell. And I don't know, I might not do anything for the Easter thing. I don't know. I don't know maybe take a break from the Easter. Anyways. Oh, no, no, no.